and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. In this video, I'm going to talk about cycling a tank and how it's often very misunderstood. Usually when you get your fish from the pet store, they say set up your tank and let the filter run for a few days and then bam, like magic, your tank is ready. But that is actually not the case because nothing actually occurred in the fish tank itself. It has not cycled and it's not ready for fish. Understanding the nitrogen cycle can be really confusing to a lot of people, so I'm going to make this super easy. So, let's learn about the nitrogen cycle. When fish poop, that becomes ammonia. Then helpful bacteria will consume the ammonia and poop it out as nitrite. Then nitrite is consumed by different helpful bacteria and pooped out into nitrate. The nitrate will just begin to build up as it doesn't really have anywhere to go. If not removed with a water change, it can cause an algae bloom. Large qualities of ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite can kill your fish. So how does all this mumbo jumbo apply to your tank? Your tank needs to grow a healthy colony of bacteria. To do that, you need to give it time to spread around the tank, but also give it a source of food in the form of ammonia. Then the bacteria will start to grow on the surfaces of your tank, inside your filter, on your gravel, everywhere. In a fish tank, there are multiple sources of ammonia. They can be produced from a fish exhaling, fish poop, dead plants, dead fish, and uneaten fish food. With no bacteria to take care of all the ammonia, usually new tanks have an ammonia spike, which is a very dangerous and large amount of ammonia accumulating in the tank that can kill your fish. You can't expect just your filter alone to handle the bio load. You need the help of the bacteria as well. To see what's going on in your tank on the chemical level, I recommend getting a master test kit. This way you can test how much ammonia, nitrate, and nitrate is exactly inside your tank. Now there's many ways to cycle a tank both with fish and without fish. Here are the general basic ways that I listed. You can Google them, but I will um, make future videos um, explaining them in depth. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know how many fish tanks do you have. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't and check out all of my other fish keeping and other pet related videos. I will be making more cycling videos soon.